What's good, guys? We're back at it again with another video. As you see from the title, today we have a Justin Edwards breakdown. 6'7", 190 uh, out of Philly. Uh, currently the number 13 player in the class of 2023, according to ESPN. With the class of 2023, like I told you guys, make sure you're checking my community tab. I'm coming with that 2023 top 10 soon. Make sure you're always, like I always tell you, make sure you're commenting down names so I don't miss anyone. Because in the class of 2022 top 10, I didn't see Kella Ware until I did the McDonald's All-American breakdown. And then when I saw him, and I saw him play against Lively, and I'm like, okay, he, Kellel, might be a top 10 player. But at the time, I'm like, okay, I haven't seen enough film film on him to put him above somebody who I have seen a lot of. So I didn't uh, actually put him in that top 10. But for this one, I want to make sure I get to every player that I need to see that could potentially be in that top 10. Jay Edwards, hadn't seen too much of him except for on Instagram. I've seen this dude catch bodies, so I know this is a uber, uber athlete. Like I said, 6'7 wing. I've seen people saying, is he the real number one player? Is he supposed to be a top five player in this class? So I'm extremely excited to see him. I know you guys are. Let's get into it. Justin Edwards. At 6'7, Justin Edwards is a long and lanky wing. Watch how he attacks the basket on this possession. He misses this initial layup, but his activity on the glass allows him to keep the ball alive. He gets the rebound and converts it into a bucket. Again, watch how he attacks the rim and gets deep paint position. He misses this initial floater, but this is a player that will get you a lot of second chance opportunities because of his activity. If you couldn't tell, Justin likes straight line drives, and this is a great adjustment being patient after missing the first two. Justin is also a player that can knock down shots from all over the floor. If you give him time and space on the perimeter, he can knock down the three, or in isolation situations, he can create for himself, get into pull-ups or fadeaways. Again, whether it's off the bounce or catch and shoot, if you give him a good look, he will shoot it. His length and athleticism allow him to be effective on the defensive end, getting blocks and steals, and this sequence here might be one of the best that I've seen this summer. He also has an understanding of how to come off screens to get open. Watch how he comes off the Iverson right into the pull-up that he likes so much. Or even on this next possession, watch how he calls for the ball, then sprints to three to get the open shot. If you let Justin get into a rhythm, he can knock down shots and run up the score in a hurry. Has he threes? Easy. Or even on the next possession, ISO, he's in rhythm at this point. What is he going to get to? The pull-up. Can't forget, though, this is an uber athlete. Might be smart to think about jumping. Okay, so Justin Edwards. When I first turned on the film, like I said, I mean, all I had seen before was, okay, this is a 6'7 lefty. also noticed he was a lefty while I was watching him, you know, on Instagram. 6'7 lefty, who's a uber, uber athlete. The first player that really came to most people's heads are is Derrick Jones. Same build, 6'7, freak athlete. Shoot it a little bit, put it down, da 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 da. Not saying they're exactly the same, but I can see similarities in their game even at this point, right? So offensively with Justin, the handle, the handle isn't, isn't crazy. He isn't going to hit you with a hundred different moves. He isn't going to change directions all the time. Most of the time, he's trying to go straight line, straight line, get deep paint position, and finish. Whether that be with a floater, with a layup, you saw he has the patience, the footwork, pump fakes, get around you, finish. That's most of the time what he's trying to do. That's not to say he can't change direction because you see he does it as well. But what he prefers is he's trying to get on that left hand, get by you, see what he can get in the paint because he is such a freak athlete. Usually he can finish above you off one leg, off two leg. He missed the floaters, but I'm more looking at, okay, he's able to get there. He's able to get to the paint. That's where he's trying to get to and then play off of that once he gets that deep in the paint, whether it be finding his teammates or finding ways to score for himself. But that's just the driving aspect. Like I said, he does just like the straight line, just wants to get to that left hand. Um, but in terms of shooting the ball, like he can shoot the ball. Uh, this is a kid who can knock down shots, you know, whether that be catch and shoot, coming off a handoff, you know what I'm saying, can put it down. Granted, when it comes to three-point shots, three-point shots, a majority of the ones that he was making were wide open. Like you saw, he comes off a handoff. No one's really there. There isn't a hand right there. He's knocking those down. It looks like he can knock down the open ones with consistency when there's a hand there, at least in the games that I saw. You know, he wasn't really making a lot of them unless, you know, he was in rhythm because once he gets in rhythm, I showed you guys, he can heat up fast. Like I said, he can knock down shots from all over the floor. It isn't just on the perimeter. The mid-range, if he, when he's trying to get by you, when he's trying to get to his left hand and you cut him off or he feels like, okay, I might not be able to get by him, 
he's trying to get to that pull up and because of his height at six seven and his athleticism he can really get that off against you know whoever you see they cut him off going to the baseline okay bump him with a little shoulder i got a fade away and he made it over two people actually either way or he comes off the iverson screen shoots off gets straight to a pull up a lot of his shot selection a lot of his shot selection even though i said you know the contest the contested threes on the perimeter they might not have been dropping a majority of his shot selection are good shots like if you check his field goal percentage over the second session pretty good because i didn't see many i didn't see many like i said he's not gonna rock you to sleep shoot some crazy fadeaway i didn't see many you know bad shots most of his shots were okay i'm gonna drive they have that one play they put him kind of at the elbow elbow extended but trying to let him go downhill on his left hand he's trying to get most of the time he's trying to get deep paint position finish over you off one leg off two leg he got the floaters he's trying to do that or he's trying to get to his mid-range okay i can't get by you i'm trying to get to my one dribble pull up going left or just get to my pull up going left or if i get the open three i'm gonna take that if you give me a little bit of space i still because of my height size athleticism i can get that shot off as well you try and run me off the line i'm not doing nothing crazy he literally pump fake one dribble get right to his pull up i didn't see many crazy shots most of his shots were simple which is what which what i think is extremely translatable especially being able to run off screens like he does understand how to okay oh i'm open no i'm not i'm gonna sprint to three to get open same thing off of iverson sprinting off of screens understanding how to go from slow to fast to kind of mix up your defender so he doesn't know where you are he can't stay with you you get a lot more open shots but he's not only effective on the offensive end because of his i keep saying it length athleticism defensively this dude has the potential to be a major problem because of his athleticism he can stay in front of guards you know what i'm saying because of his length he had multiple games with two steals three steals he's in passing lanes he's paying attention you do a wide crossover he's getting that he's getting that blocking shots blocking shots that one sequence might have been one of the best that i've seen this summer being able to get a block high on the backboard come down the floor what did i just say pump fake i'm taking one dribble and i'm punching on somebody this is a uber freak athlete you're gonna have to make some business decisions if you want to think about jumping with him because more times than not he's gonna punch on you but i just i like his game just because of like i said he didn't really force a lot um he would find his teammates when they were open like I said, he didn't really take a lot of bad shots and the things that I really liked the most was how he was moving off the ball, getting open. Like just understanding, okay, I can shoot the ball. They're going to play me like a shooter. Let me change speeds. Like I said, let me fake and go this way. Let me just get open while also still being effective on the defensive end, while also still when he does get it in the half court and with a ball in his hands, being able to play his game, not really doing anything too crazy. He knows what he's good at and he sticks with it. And that's going to translate to the next level and then eventually that league that i know he wants to go to that three-letter league but like i said i can't wait to see what he does in the future like share, subscribe turn on post notifications appreciate you guys watching remember we're going on evaluations breakdowns are going to the channel like these like this one hit the website in the description make sure you comment down names in 2023 that you want me to see because we're coming with that top 10 soon appreciate you guys watching i'll see you guys next time in the next video